Legacy 11, we are in the featherweight division. We have got two fighters in the cage. FAI's Dolores Gallagher taking on Liv Smash Prendergast. Gallagher is in the salubrious shorts taking on Prendergast, who's in the all black. Your third man in the cage is Mr. Deck Larkin and Phil, we're underway. A very exciting matchup here in Prospect. Steph jab right away from Smash. Just using that Kempo karate style to maintain distance. And she's got to be careful of that distance because it's a five foot ten Gallagher taking on the five foot five. Nice Fenner kick, Gast. Nice kick reply there from Gallagher. And the karate background of Gallagher is incredible. But surprisingly, in her opening MMA debut, she fought in Cage Warriors. Very controversial loss, but she really implemented a wrestling game plan, and that we will see. Gallagher. What the game plan is today. Gallagher working well off that lead hook, that jab to lead hook combination. Keeping her strikes long and therefore keeping Prendergast at range. She needs to do that. Expect the blitz and the cover of distance from the Kempo striker. Oh, beautiful combination. The inside leg kick to the pop jab. And you can see Gallagher just trying to fire that right hand straight down oh, the pipe. Big hook. A lovely lead left hook by Prendergast. And she seems to be the one landing the cleaner, harder strikes at the moment, but Gallagher's not afraid to stand and engage. Prendergast is also doing really well combining the strikes. You see her working the leg kicks into the strikes. It's Gallagher good. pushing forward here, Phil, no, landing big hooks. No quit at all, and Gallagher marching forward. She's just waiting, sitting back on her shots, waiting for the, the attack of Prendergast, and then trying to counter. Almost blowing a little heavy, I might say. Gallagher, maybe the, the pressure of the fight. Big overhand from Prendergast. You can see the eye starting to mark up of Gallagher, really eating quite a few of those jabs. Gallagher's shot starting to slow down. I was just starting to say, maybe the adrenaline of the moment. She may be having a little dump, but she's pushing forward here. Oh, big hooks again from Gallagher. Just when we thought she looked a little bit tired, back she comes with huge hooks of her own. And Prendergast, rightfully so, puts that right hand up, and that, that jab beautiful is stiff beautiful. jab. She's using the inside leg kick to set it up as well. No threat of the takedown this time by Smash Prendergast. But so light on her feet. Uh, a Kempo Karate black belt at 18. A Kempo Karate second down black belt at 21. So that movement is working really well for her. Needs to be careful of those big hooks of Gallagher. And Gallagher really winging these shots. She wants to turn this into a firefight. And now we see the wrestling of Prendergast. She engaged. She wasn't happy with Gallagher landing them shots. Dolores Gallagher really bringing the fight to live Prendergast on enemy territory. But Prendergast done exactly the right thing. You know, didn't want to absorb too many of those heavy strikes. So closes the distance, grabs the double underhooks. And now she's working on the legs of Dolores Gallagher by firing in those knees. Good shot as she pins Gallagher up, and that looks oh, low, drops to the body. body. That looks like it could be the end of it. Gallagher Let's tries to fire back, but she's stunning it up, throws back there. What are these women made of? Prendergast landed a nice right left hook to finish this. The end of the first round, but wow. a firefight has ensued at Cage Legacy 11. The main card has started here at Cage Legacy 11 in Luke in Dublin. And we have an incredible firefight on our hand. Dolores Gallagher is game. And she is an equally game opponent in Liv Prendergast. I'm liking the kind of contrast we're seeing though. We have that brawling, marauding style of Dolores Gallagher versus that karate style, that in and out style of Liv Prendergast. Good head movement from Prendergast. But Gallagher shows she was, the first round she was trying to fight at range, but no tail kick there by Gallagher, or by Prendergast. 
Gallagher just biting down on the mouthpiece and throwing hands. And that's what I was starting to say. The start of the first round, she was being technical and long. And then when it comes into a firefight, she's just as willing to engage in that. But we see almost the, the, the martial arts experience. Again, that inside leg kick to pop jab from Prendergast. It's, it's all money. money. It's like Dan Henderson style. Dan Henderson oh. used to use it as well. He'd step in and land that big bomb of a right hand. We've got a bloody marked up Gallagher now. That jab is starting to wear on the face of Dolores Gallagher. Big right hand over the top of that jab. She needs to do more of that, Phil. I like the diversifying of the strikes we're seeing from Prendergast. She's going low, then going high. She's fired off a low kick, a head kick, really keeping Dolores Gallagher guessing. Big overhand into the double double underhooks. There's the takedown. Big Beautiful. takedown. Beautiful takedown. Straight, straight into full mount as well, Phil. Gallagher, the gas tank depleting that big right hand. Set it up. What can she do from the bottom here? She needs to be wary. No, oh, not, oh, she's not intelligently defending. Starting she's just to turn and turtle. Needs to be wary of the armbar here, but big strikes by Fred. Fred Gas has I done it! Decky Larkin steps in and stops the bound. Whoa! Big ground and pound. I think Fred Melt the blood in the water and Phil talk us through the entirety of that one. What Prendergast done so beautifully there was illustrate her savvy as a martial artist. She used the strike, she went high, she went low. Beautiful combination, the inside leg kick to the pop jab. And in the closing stanzas of that fight, she used her strikes, the big overhand, the double underhooks, the takedown, subsequently a beautiful finish. But all credit has to go to Dolores Gallagher as well for being the dance partner in such a thrilling contest. Ladies and gentlemen, referee is going to be wearing right his collar, stop this battle, 1 minute and 23 seconds, and round number 2, we win the